Barnabies. It's me, Sandy. How are you today? Oh, I'm melting. I'm melting. Oh my good God. What is happening to this earth? Oh, the weather is crazy. Crazy. Um, how is it where you are? Like, I'm seeing videos of people where they're just either blazing hot or there's major storms or, you know, like, oh, I, I just don't even know. I don't even know. It's weird. Somebody's messing with the weather. I swear to God. Like, I don't know if government stuff, planes leaving. I don't know. I don't know, but something's happening. Man, I don't remember a time when it was this hot for this long. Um, and it's only been a few days. <laughs> and it's enough for me. Uh, day before yesterday, it was up to 31, which I don't know what it is. It's probably up in the 80s or something, which is probably not even hot. Billy's going to watch this and laugh and go, Pfft. that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but for us, this is blazing freaking hot. Um, <clears throat> ever since I started going through menopause, which I don't even know if I'm out of menopause yet or if I'm still in it, I have no idea. But I still suffer. And uh, when I hit menopause, I all of a sudden couldn't stand the heat anymore right? Uh, I used to be a sun goddess. I loved being in the sun. Tan me up, right? Like I was, I was, I loved it. I never had so much vitamin D in my system. <laughs> now, mm -mm -mm. I don't even like putting my big toe out the door. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I'm, it sucks the life out of me. It's just, oh, so yeah. Anyway, but the house is nice and cool for the most part. But for this last two days, our house isn't even cool. And that's unusual. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm melting. I'm, I've got fans going and it, all it's doing is circulating the hot air around. Mm -mm. And we're right by, by the ocean. Usually we get a nice breeze through the window. There's no breeze. What? The actual, yeah, <laughs> I was going to finish that sentence. I'm not going to. Uh, so anyways, yeah. So I'm sure Lisa is, from Lisa's Crochet is out back east going, ah! <laughs> it's like, it's probably hotter than hot out there. Uh, we are usually a little cooler on the west side. Mm, you guys can keep it. <laughs> If it's, if it's hot like this out there or hotter, I've heard somewhere across, um, like Alberta and out up in the Okanagan, it's like 35 and I'm just going, Oh hell no. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. So anyway, enough about the weather. That was like five minutes of your life. You'll never get back. Uh, okay. Um, administration stuff. Don't forget, um, I did a video yesterday to give away a pain pack. Uh, I am going to be putting a couple more things in this pain pack, which one of, and I hate the thought of it right now, but will be uh, an electric heating pad. Um, the electric heating pad is my best friend. I have it, even in this heat, First thing in the morning, I get up, I get my coffee, I sit down, and I put my heating pad on my back. If it wasn't for my heating pad, I probably wouldn't be up and walking around. So I decided that I am going to uh, put one in the pack. So I will leave the link to that video up above and down below and go over there. And as long as you comment the word pain, uh, in your comment, you will be entered into the giveaway. Okay. Um, 
what should we talk about now? I have a couple of things. Uh, Heather the Crochet Witch, for instance. She is doing a cow crochet along. <clears throat> Her favorite show of all time is Stranger Things. So she is doing a make along, or not a make along, a cow uh, called Hashtag Stranger Summer. And you can make anything that you want as long as it um, pertains to Stranger Things. Um, like anything to do with Stranger Things. I will leave her link down below. I think it's a great idea. Um, I watched, I think, the first two seasons of Stranger Things. And then it took them so long to get the other seasons out that I just kind of went and left it behind. So I'm not going to be part of this, Cal. But definitely go over there and check it out. I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> Sorry about that. I <clears throat> just not, woke up not too long ago. Have to get the cobwebs out. Ugh. Anyway, go over and check out Heather at the Crochet Witch. Uh, and get involved. If you like Stranger Things, get involved. Um, <clears throat> what else? I am supposed to be doing a collab with Petra from Petra's Happy Place. <laughs> She's finished hers. She finished hers like a week ago. <laughs> and this was my idea. Like she, we, if we wanted to do a cow, it was my idea to do this stupid Nordic shawl thing. I couldn't figure it out. She couldn't figure it out. She got some help. Um, and finished the, the shawl. I have been pushing it away and pushing it away and going, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Uh, and I haven't gotten to it. I have to finish this stupid shawl. Um, the way the pattern's written, it, it takes you to a certain part and then cuts off and says, okay, you can do the rest on your own. No, I couldn't. And it's a repeat pattern. I just, I could not for the life of me figure out what I was doing wrong. My count was off. <clears throat> um, I, so I'm going to try it again. But yeah, there's that. I, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm not good with um, patterns that you have to really think about. <laughs> Like, I'm just not good with that. <clears throat> I like something that's nice and easy and quick, right? Uh, but this, like, that's why I don't make shawls. It's because they're just too fidgety for me. So why I even thought to do a shawl? I think it's because Petra does a lot of shawls, and I thought this would be something in her wheelhouse that she'd be able to do, uh, and it wouldn't be boring for her. Um, but I left myself out in the cold kind of because <clears throat> now I'm having troubles doing it. So I'm going to have to get to it. Maybe today I'll start it now that I'm finished everything I, I have to do. <clears throat> so, yeah. Also, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> morning gunk stuff. I... I have this every morning. I hate it. Um, other stuff is, remember I was telling you I was going to, I wanted to do a collab uh, to do a Stevie Nicks inspired <laughs> shawl. <laughs> Here we go with the shawls again. What is it? Anyway. And that the person I was thinking about doing it with kind of fell through. Well, I got a message from a wonderful lady, Elaine, from the Kiwi Crocheter. And it was so cute because she didn't just send me an email or send me uh, a text message or anything like that. She went through Messenger, found me, and did a voicemail. 
like a uh, voice message. I love her accent. She's so cute. Um, I, I laughed all the way through her messages because she <laughs> talking about menopause. Oh, she's, she's suffering from it too. We're losing our words. We can't find them. They're like gone. <laughs> and, uh, she couldn't remember the word Stevie Nicks. And I was just like, <laughs> I'm living that dream. It's like, I can't remember anything either. So um, she said, hey, I would love to do uh, a collab with you. And I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I'm in the process of doing a collab with her. I have to get back to her. Like I, I, kind of dropped the ball in this last few days, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so this here is finally finished. I put this on my media and everything. It, it looks all wonky right now because it's on, it's so big that it doesn't even fit on the mannequin. So, um, yeah, so it kind of looks a little odd, but uh, I, I did up this pattern for this shawl and I finished it last night at like one o'clock in the morning. It has fringe all the way around it. This, it, I can't even see it. I'll try and get video or pictures or whatever of me in it, but it's, it's big. <laughs> Come on, work with me. Oh, okay. So you see this, this is, whoops, I'm caught up on everything now. That is the spangle yarn that I just got not too long ago. Or I guess it's yarn, thread, whatever the heck it is. Okay. Never used it before. So glad I got it because this turned out really nice. The only thing I don't like about it is I'm worried that sparkle stuff is going to come off. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So, <clears throat> and then this yarn, this yarn is, oh, hang on. Oh, well that helps. <laughs> it's premier every day. Um, red heather. Okay. Um, I was a little concerned on mixing the two fibers because one would drape and one wouldn't, uh, because this would be heavy and this would be light. And I thought, Oh, I don't know, but you know what, with the two together, it actually is heavy enough that it separates the spangle yarn so you can actually see what it is. And um, yeah, I mean, I really like it. I, I, I like it a lot. Uh, and then it's got all the fringe. <clears throat> so yeah, I was really happy with the way this turned out. So I, now that I've done the pattern, um, I am going to try to write something up and it's an easy repeat pattern. <laughs> Me and easy patterns, right? Um, it's an easy repeat pattern. So, okay, you're going to stay here like this. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> nope, it's not going to stay there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, so I'm going to write something up so that Elaine can actually understand what I'm trying to say. And I want to make another one in blacks and stuff because you know, Stevie Nicks, right? <laughs> uh, and then um, do a collab with Elaine. I wanted to do up the pattern to see if it actually would work. But next time, what I might do is a triangular one instead of the this one, just to make it different, you know. 
So yeah, so I'm so excited about that. This is going to be cool because she's going to use thinner yarn and I'm going to use the thicker yarn and see the difference between the two. So yay, excited about that. Oh, uh, who was I watching? I can't remember who I was watching. Purple pineapple, no. Oh gosh, I can't remember now. <clears throat> she put out a video yesterday anyway and said that Red Heart uh, Super Saver Stripes is being discontinued. I personally hate anything Red Heart Super Saver, but I love their colors. I love the striping colors. I won't work with the yarn. It eats up my fingers. But if you happen to like Super Saver stripes, you better go out and get what you can now because it is being discontinued. Why? I'm not sure. Hopefully they actually will be bringing out softer yarn and not such industrial type yarn because that stuff is terrible, uh, in my opinion. <clears throat> um, I'm hoping that they're going to bring out something like the crafters craft smart brand um you know how it used to be the industrial icky yucky and then they changed it and now it's one of my favorite yarns it's like so soft i'm hoping they're going to do something like that because i absolutely love the super saver colors they they are just wonderful i just can't use it so yeah, so go get yours. If, if you like Super Saver stripes, go get yours. Uh, I got some Happy Mail and it, um, it's mail I knew I was, that I was getting and I was so excited and I couldn't wait. <clears throat> I can't show you one of them because it's going to my sister and it's all wrapped up and everything. Billy the Crafty Floridian, we all know her and love her. She makes damn it dolls. Everybody probably already knows that. But if you don't, go over to Billy's. I'll leave her channel down below. Uh, she makes damn it dolls. And when she was doing the Argus of Love for um, Sharon at Sharon's Crochet Corner, she was doing a bidding war for these damn it dolls. I was lucky enough to get the ones I wanted. <laughs> so... Um, I, I, yeah, I went gangbusters and I was like, I'm getting this. <laughs> and I finally got it. Look at her. She's got bumblebees on there. Oh, isn't she cute? Look at her top knot. And she's got a little thing in her hair. Isn't she adorable? I love her so much. <laughs> I just love her. And if you don't know what a damn it doll is, go check out Billy's channel. She'll explain the whole thing. But it comes with a little card. And it explains what it is. And basically what it is, is if you're frustrated, angry, sad, um, any emotion and you just you want to just take it out on something you can take this doll and you get hit something don't hit a person <laughs> but you can beat the crap out of it and she will make you feel better or you can just cuddle her just cuddle her give her some love you know um but yeah she also talks about how the damn it doll came to be uh and it was a guy who came up with it or something i can't remember the story about it <clears throat> excuse me but it's it's interesting to to hear about it um if you look up damn it doll uh the damn it doll on google i'm sure that you can find the story so yeah so she sells these all the time she makes a lot of them, a lot of different ones. Um, the one I got for my sister is pirate themed. 
so because uh, their bathroom is all pirate stuff and I mean all pirate stuff like everything in that bathroom is pirate it's crazy but um so I finally got it I'm so excited and I gotta find a place to put her I want to I wish Billy here's a suggestion just just me is sewing across her butt so that she can sit <laughs> like just just right there right there just and then just so she can sit down because <laughs> I can't I don't know where I'm gonna put her on my shelf I want to be able to show you guys because otherwise I'm gonna have to put it up with all my amigurumi up there and she's too pretty to not have on camera so I'm gonna have to find a place figure it out because she's just she's she's too tall to be on there I'm gonna have to figure it out but um yeah so I'm so happy with it oh, she's so pretty I love her to pieces so thank you Billy thank you thank you thank you I told you guys that I was making up a, uh, a box of stuff for my daughter because she just moved in uh, moved into her first place and um, I had a bunch of stuff like um, Kleenex box cover and scrubbies and washcloths and all that kind of stuff. Well, this pattern has been in my to-do list for quite some time. And I never got around to doing it. Never really had a reason to, I guess. I just really liked the way it looked. But now I do. And so I made one. Uh, I remember Kim from Kim's Crochet Knits. She made one and it was beautiful. Uh, the yarn I used is probably too thick for this, but mm -hmm. I used Eco Cottons and I used it doubled. But I had it right beside me and I thought, okay, fine, I'm going to do it. So here it is. It's a basket, like a hanging basket. And it's got a little fringe there. And it's got the wood, the toggle, or wood, these things. <laughs> see, words gone. Um, and you could put in, like, see here, I'll put in a, you could put in whatever you want in the basket. You can put fruit in the basket and hang it up. Um, you could put face cloths in it and hang it in your um, bathroom. Uh, you could put toilet paper in here and hang it in your bathroom. You could, there's lots of different stuff that you can put in here. You can put your whatever, you know. So I made that and I put that in a box. Yay. Uh, if you have any more suggestions of what I can make for her, I'm kind of at a standstill. Like, I, I don't know. Um, I thought about doing throw pillows but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I should just do them in a white or cream or something so that it would go with any decor. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I want to make some stuff because I made face cloths, dish towel, uh, dish cloths, um, scrubbies. Uh, I've got her some dish towels because um, I did the dish towel holder. I don't know what else to make. So give me some ideas. So, <laughs> what was that? Um, give me some ideas. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need more coffee. Um, door dashing. Oh my God. I had to take a... And there's the ferry. <laughs> yes, we live right by a ferry. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I I work for work for DoorDash. DoorDash is the is similar to Skip the Dishes, um, and I. <clears throat> I, I was medically retired in 
2008. I've had back surgery. Uh, I've got bone spurs in my spine. Um, I've got osteoarthritis. I've got like a host of things going on in my body. I should not probably be working, but um, things come up, right? And George is working his bag off all the time. And I felt really guilty that he had to do this all on his own. I can't do a traditional job. There's just no way, no way. So we thought that this might be easy for me or somewhat easy for me because it's just delivering food, right? The actual job itself is not hard on me. It's getting in and out of my vehicle constantly that is really messing with my body. My back is trashed. Um, my neck from shoulder checking all the time. It's not so bad right now. Thank God I took something last night. I couldn't even turn my neck yesterday. I was getting sharp pains, almost like I could feel the muscle hitting the bone spurs. Oh, ugh, hurts. Uh, so I ended up having to take yesterday off and, um, but I'm trying my best. I booked right through the week, but I think what I'm going to have to do is take a day in between and just work every other day because I just, I'm, it's crippling me. Right. And I thought this was going to be easy peasy for me, but. You know, we all got to do what we got to do to survive, right? Um, the pandemic was not good for us, uh, as it wasn't for many others. So we're just trying to survive, right? And trying to keep things going. Uh, George is also door dashing. He, he does his normal job with his carpet cleaning company. And then he door dashes as well. So he's burning the candle at both ends, basically, and he's not getting any younger, and I'm really worried about him. So I'm trying to help out. Um, but he's the type of guy that can't sit down. He's go, 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 go constantly. You know, he's the kind of guy that's like, he'll sleep and rest when he's gone, when he's dead. You know, like, right now we've got things to do. <laughs> so... Um, I couldn't get him to sit down and relax if I tried. He's just that guy. So, yeah. So, we, you know, there isn't anything I can do. You know, one day his body will just say, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. And then he's going to have to just scale back. But for now... He's, I'm just, let, I have to let him do what he's going to do, right? Because I can't argue with him about it. He's just not going to listen. So anyway, so yeah. So if I'm not doing as many videos as I would like, and you haven't seen me in a little while, that's why. It's because I'm working again, um, trying to make it part-time. But uh, yeah, and then when I'm done dashing I'm I'm out cold I'm just I'm my heating pads on my back painkillers are in my body uh and I'm just out Phys physically mentally I'm out so uh yeah but I'm trying really hard to keep my YouTube thing going I don't know how you guys that are working and doing YouTube at the same time are doing it. I really don't. Kudos to you. Man, it's not easy. It's hard. Um, what else? What else? Oh, stay tuned for... Oh, this is only July. Or June. Um, August. August is my YouTube anniversary. And at the beginning of August, Sandy... Duda from Left is Right Crochet and I are going to be doing something together for the whole month. That's going to be fun. Uh, yeah. 
all things, you know, considered and hopefully will go smoothly because our blissness didn't go very smoothly <laughs> or our seasons of new beginnings. Uh, yeah, we had some hiccups and all that. So hopefully this time it will go all right and the mail system will be friendly and it will go all the way to Kansas City and hers will all come on all the way to Canada and everything will be good. <laughs> so here's hoping. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Oh, <laughs> I've already done this video. I did this video yesterday from the time I went from my from in here to my chair to start uploading the video stuff poof the video was gone what <laughs> the actual um yeah so it was gone, deleted. I don't know how I did it. It. I don't know if it's the heat and I just blanked out and deleted it or I have no idea what happened, but the video was gone and I had to redo this video. So, yeah. But in the other video, I didn't have this finished. So I only showed part of it. So the higher powers must have wanted you to see this beautifulness in its full form. Oh, God, I play with this all day this is fun <laughs> um yeah so yeah hmm. I'm when things kind of start to slow down I'm going to try and do a couple more tutorials hey if you've done my tutorials go to my Facebook page and post a picture of what you've done okay um because I really want to see it I really want to see what you guys have done uh and yeah a little plug there <laughs> so um uh, oh my etsy shop is down below you know for all the new people that have been here hello thanks for joining me uh down in my description box i have my etsy page my facebook page my teesprings page my like all the stuff and also I have my sister's Etsy page, Coin Crow Creations. She has a whole bunch of stuff on her channel or on her Etsy page. Um, and yeah, go check that out. And I think that's all I have for you. Sick of me yet? Okay. All right. So I'm going to go. I love you all. I do stay hydrated, stay out of the sun. Um, yeah, just stay safe, okay? I love you all. Bye.